All right, you guys, it is four o'clock. So let's get our workout started, okay? Uh, first off, I wanted to start by saying thank you to everyone who has donated for these classes. It has been amazing and we really appreciate it. If you guys are still looking to donate, you can go on our website at ultimateninjas.com and any of the home pages, um, you can make your donation there. So we just really appreciate um, everything that you guys are doing for us. So that's really awesome. Um, so guys, again, make sure that you have your open space. We're going to be doing some movements and a little bit of jumping today, so make sure that everything is out of your way. You don't want to hit anything. You don't want to fall. You don't want to run into anything, okay? Um, and then make sure you have your water close by. We're going to be doing a lot of movements today where you might get a little bit out of breath and need some water. I'm going to give you guys some short breaks and then some longer breaks, and at any time, you can stop and drink water, okay? And that's a really good point, actually, is at any time, if you need a break during this workout, it's a move at your own pace, okay? So that means that if you get tired, if you get lightheaded, if you, your legs need a rest, your arms need a rest, you can take a break in your workout at any time, okay? I want you to try to push it a little bit so that way you do get a really good workout. But if you guys aren't feeling good or you need a drink of water or you need to just shake out your legs for a second, you can do that, okay? So give me a thumbs up if you understand that. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Um, then let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to start with our warm up. We're going to start with some rotations first, just to loosen up our joints and our muscles a little bit. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to do a couple of the exercises in the workout. We're going to do very few of them in the warm up. So that way, one, you know how to do them when we're doing the exercises and two, your muscles are ready to do those exercises. Okay. So we're going to start get in your big open space. Okay. And we are going to rotate our wrists. We're just gonna get loose and get warm, get moving. So you're gonna rotate one way and then you're gonna rotate the other way. Then you're gonna stick your foot behind you and you're gonna rotate that ankle around, okay? You're gonna do it one direction and then switch directions. And then you're going to switch your feet. If you guys notice, I don't have any shoes on. I'm doing this workout upstairs, um, switch, switch directions, um, on my carpet, and I don't want to get my carpet dirty, so I'm not wearing shoes. Feel free to wear sneakers if you guys are on hardwood floor, um, or if you guys are on carpet, that's totally fine. I just don't want to get my carpet dirty. You can do sneakers or no sneakers. All right, guys, spread your legs apart just a little about shoulder width. You're going to put your hands on your hips, and you're going to do some hip rotations. We're going to do this one direction and then you're going to switch and do it the other direction. All right, now this time when you do it, you're going to go back and switch the other direction. You're going to really lean back and then lean forward and you're going to go around just like that. That way it just loosens up those hips just a little bit more and switch directions. And then we're going to stand up nice and tall. Make sure you have some space. Don't hit any doors like I almost did. And you're going to do some arm swings. Go right across your body. We're going to be using our shoulders and our arms today. So you want to make sure those are nice and loose. And then rotations you can do backwards. Nice and big. Try to get those arms nice and big and open. And then forwards. Awesome. All right, let's see how many people are joining us. We are at 278 people. We are almost at 300, which is awesome. I love it. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to start with. In our warm up, we're going to start with five squats, okay? So feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you're leaning back on your heels and you're going to sit back and you're going to squat five times. One, two, three. Keep your chest up when you guys come down. If you need to look up, that's okay four, five, okay? So every exercise we're doing right now are gonna, going to be in your workout, so make sure you try to do it with the best form, all right? 
All right, next one we're gonna do is ice skaters, okay? This is great if you guys wanna practice your strength for the quad steps, you know, when we're moving back and forth. What you're going to do is you're going to jump to one side. You're jumping to your left, you're gonna land on your left foot, and you can tap your other foot behind you if you need to, and then you're gonna to jump to the other side and tap, okay? You're gonna go back and forth a few times. The bigger you do this, the stronger your legs are gonna get. Okay, so really push off those legs. Awesome. All right. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a high plank. I want you guys to hold it nice and flat. Let me just tilt my camera down a little bit so you can see. You're gonna hold that high plank, okay? You're gonna make sure your body's nice and flat. I don't wanna see piking. I don't wanna see hips down, okay? Hold that high plank. And now we're gonna do five push-ups. So, coming down and pushing up. Try to get that chest to the floor. Make sure your head is not down or too high up. It's in a neutral position. Four, five. Good job. All right, while we are down here, we're gonna do some Russian twists. So, when we do Russian twists, we are sitting on our bottom. We're lifting our feet up. You can cross them if you want to, we don't have to. I clasp my hands together like this, and I'm gonna twist side to side. Do a couple rotations of that. I try to do it not too fast. If you do it too fast, then your body's going all out of control, and it hurts your back a little bit more, and right now we're engaging our abs. So nice and slow, tapping each side. You wanna to try to get your shoulders to be lined up in between your knees, rotating all around. All right, awesome. All right, next move, mountain climbers. So we're gonna get back up in that high plank position. Again, we don't want our butt to be up, we don't want it to be low. And you're gonna bring your knee up and you can touch your toe halfway, like right underneath your hips. And then you're gonna switch. And you're gonna keep moving like that. If you get tired, what might happen is your butt gets higher and higher, and you don't want that. You want to stay nice and flat, keeping those mountain climbers nice and low, and you're going to keep moving. Do that for five more seconds. Five, four, three, wow, you guys, two, one, awesome. All right. Next, I'm gonna, we're going to do bicycles. So we're going to lay on our lower back, Hands behind our head. Elbows can be kind of pointed forward. We're going to extend one leg, bring one leg in, and we're gonna cross our elbow to our knee. So if it's your left leg, it's your right elbow. And then we're gonna switch. And you're gonna move your legs like a bicycle. Again, this is not too fast. You're not cruising your bicycle down a hill. You're making your way nice and easy, engaging those abs, okay? Do it for five. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, Supermans. So guys, when, during this workout, we're trying to do, use our legs, use our abs, and use our arms, okay? So this one is actually core. It's, it's working your belly and your back, okay? So you're going to lay flat, extend your arms out, and you're gonna lift up like you're flying, and then you're gonna relax and then lift up like you're flying, and then you're gonna relax. Feet come up, arms come up, head comes up, and then you can relax. So let's do five more. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. So hopefully you guys felt that in your lower back. That's really strengthening those muscles as well as your ass and your shoulders as you lift those supermans up. All right guys, last one. So our last one for our warm up. So it's gotta be burpees, okay? So during our workout, you have a choice. When you go down in your burpee, you can do a push up or you can choose not to, okay? So for a burpee, you're going to squat down, hands next to your feet. You're going to jump out into the high plank. And this is where you can do the push up. Bring your feet back to your hands and you're gonna jump to the ceiling, bringing your arms up. You can also just come down, out, in, and then jump, okay? It's a little bit harder with that push-up, but it kind of depends 
on how hard you want to push yourself through this workout. So it's totally up to you. And, oh, so do, sorry, I didn't tell you how many burpees to do. Let's do five burpees for me, please, okay? So out, push up, in, jump. So five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. And I love how I'm seeing you guys really jump at the top of your burpee. You're not just giving me one of those little baby hops. I'm seeing people do really big jumps, and that's awesome. That's what I want to see, okay? All right. I'm going to explain the workout. You can take a second. Whew, breathe. I know I'm out of breath talking and doing the exercise at the same time. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do four minutes of work, and then you get a minute break. We're going to do that four times. Okay, so what's going to happen is we are going to do squats and ice skaters, push-ups, high plank, sit-ups, Russian twists, jumping jacks, and high knees. You don't need to remember that. I will tell you through the workout. And what we're going to do is for the first one, we're going to do 25 seconds of squats, 25 seconds of ice skaters, and then I'm going to give you a 10-second break. It's not super long, but just enough to give your muscles a little bit of rest, okay? Then you're gonna do 25 seconds of push-ups, 25 seconds of high plank, and then you're gonna get another 10 second break. I'm gonna tell you the whole time, I'm gonna be demonstrating a little bit, so if you forget what the exercise is, it's not a problem. Then you're gonna do sit-ups for 25 seconds, Russian twists for 25 seconds, 10 second break, jumping jacks, high knees, 25 seconds each, and then you'll get a minute break before we go on to the next one. Okay, so let's get our space. I'm gonna get my timer set and ready so I can tell you guys when to switch and when to take your breaks. All right, so remember guys, again, it's 25 seconds of one exercise, then we're gonna switch 25 seconds of the next. At any time, if you need to take a break, if you need to drink a water, you can do that. If you're doing burpees and you're down here and you're like, oh, I just need to shake out for a second and then keep going, that's totally okay, okay? This is move at your own pace. If you wanna push yourself really hard, that's okay. If you wanna take a couple of breaks in between the different exercises, that's okay too, okay? This is move at your own pace, it's up to you. How hard you wanna make this work out for yourself, okay? I would love to hear that you're gonna push yourself, okay? But push yourself to what your limit is, all right? So grab your water bottle, have it close by, take a drink of water now if you need it, because we're gonna get started. Oh, Coach just needs to make sure her phone doesn't go to sleep. All right. All right, guys, so we're gonna stand up because we're gonna start with squats and then we're gonna go into those ice skaters, okay? So for the first 25 seconds, squats. So get ready in your position and in three, two, one, go. All right, we're gonna be squatting, okay? Making sure that chest is up, feet apart, toes facing forward, and we're squatting down to that 90 degree angle, okay? Good job. Keep it up. You guys have five more seconds of squats, and then you're going to move into the ice skaters. And go. Switch to the ice skaters. Good job. Remember, the bigger the jump, the stronger those legs are going to get. Making sure to use your arms. You have five more seconds, those look great. And rest. All right guys, the next one you're gonna be doing is push-ups. So get down to that push-up position. And three, two, one, push-ups. Now push-ups for 25 seconds can be a little bit of a lot. So if you get too tired, or you can't do them like this anymore, you can bring your knees down and push up. Just make sure your butt's not up in the air. I don't want to see any of that, okay? It's okay to push up just like that. And just like that, you have five more seconds of push ups. You are going to switch to the high plank. So you're already there. Hold that high plank. And we have only 20 seconds left of high plank. 
Make sure you're engaging your core, staying nice and flat, holding it. Your arms are shaking a little bit, that's okay. And three more seconds, two, one, rest. All right, guys, you can stay down there because next you're doing sit-ups. Okay, you're gonna sit with your knees bent. And go. And you're gonna be sitting up. You can keep your arms crossed at your chest. You can keep them behind your head. Whatever you'd like to do, keep those knees bent. And sit all the way up until your chest touches your legs. Keep pushing. Only five more seconds, and you're going to switch to the Russian twist. In two, one, switch. All right, those Russian twists. Make sure those feet are elevated, and we're not going too fast, remember? We're just crossing over our body. 10 seconds. See how fast it goes by? Two, one, rest. All right. Next, we're doing jumping jacks and high knees. So we're gonna stand up, get ready, and jumping jacks. Just 25 seconds of jumping jacks. Make sure you keep going. You guys are doing awesome. Make sure to get those arms all the way up when you do those jumping jacks, okay? You got it, keep working. Remember, if you need a drink of water, if you need to take a second, shake it out, that's okay. And then standing in place, we're gonna run with those knees up. High knees, this is the last 25 seconds and then you get a one minute break. Okay, keep running. Knees up, knees up. This is your last little bit of break right after. So keep pushing right here. You only have about eight more seconds of this. Knees up, knees up. Three. Two, one, break. So just like that, guys, that was four minutes of work. And now you get a one minute break and you're gonna do three more rounds of that. But we're gonna do different exercises for the next round. Then we're gonna go back to what we just did, do the last one, and then you're done. So it's gonna go by pretty fast. Grab your drink of water. I know I need it. All right, guys, so this next round, we're going to do lunges. We're gonna do lunges going forward for 25 seconds and lunges going backwards. We're gonna do mountain climbers and bicycles, which we did in the warm-up, inchworms, which I'll show you, and supermans, and then burpees and squat jumps. And then just like that, you'll be done that round. All right, guys, we got about 10 more seconds. Shake it out. Take those last few breaths that you need, and we are going to get started. All right, we're going to lunge forward and switch legs every time. Lunge forward and then bring those legs back together. Make sure you're switching, you're not staying on the same leg. You're switching to your left, switching to your right. You can touch your knee to the ground or get it very close. A nice solid lunge. And now we're going to switch to backwards. So lunge back, feet together. Lunge back, feet together. Make sure again, you're switching those legs. Okay, keep it up. Keep those knees nice and low, chest up. I don't wanna see anybody leaning over when they do it, okay? Chest up, lunge down. And time, 10 second break. Mountain climbers are next, so we're gonna come down to our high plank, but you got about five seconds. And mountain climbers. Keep those bodies nice and flat. Okay, keep pushing. Make sure those hips are down low. Your bodies are flat. And you push right through those mountain climbers. You only have about five more seconds, so give me some good mountain climbers right here. Three, two, one, switch to bicycles. So on our backs, hands behind our head, and you're bicycling, elbow to knee, crossing your body. 
Remember, not too fast, but try to keep those legs like you're on a bicycle, okay? Keep pushing, five more seconds, push, 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 get it done, and rest. All right, you're gonna stand up, take some deep breaths, get water right now if you need it, and we're gonna do inchworms. So you're gonna stand up, you're gonna walk your hands out, high plank, walk your hands back, and stand up. Walk your hands out, high plank, walk your hands back, and stand up. We're gonna keep doing that. You only have about five more seconds of this. Stand up, and switch. We're gonna go right down into our Supermans, arms out, Superman, okay? Right here is the perfect time where if you need the rest, you can take it or keep those Supermans going, okay? Keep those arms straight out in front of you, lifting your legs and arms at the same time. Three more seconds, and time. Take your rest, Whew, shake it out. Take those deep breaths that you need because this is our last little section, but it's gonna be a tough one because you're doing burpees. Standing up, coming down, out, in, up. Remember to do the push-up if you want to. Make sure you keep pushing. This is the part where it gets a little hard, but it's your last set. So keep pushing. I wanna see those burpees. Oh, I see some people still doing that push-up. That's awesome. Jumping to the sky. Good job. All the way up and switching to squat jumps. So we're going to squat and jump. Okay, make sure your legs are still getting at that 90 degree angle and you're jumping. You can use your arms to jump if you need to. Chest up the whole time. Keep going. Three, two, one. One minute break. Good job, you guys. This is your time to get water, catch your breath. I mean, look at me, I'm even out of breath. So it's good if you're out of breath, okay? So make sure to take your rest, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Get that water that you need. Give me a thumbs up if you guys are out of breath and working hard. Yeah, awesome. Love it. <laughs> Great job, you guys. You guys are crushing this workout. We're halfway through this first half, okay? So we're gonna go back through what we did before. We're gonna do each one of those again. And then we're gonna be done the first half of the workout. So that's pretty awesome. It goes by a little bit quicker than you think sometimes. All right, so get ready. Now that you guys have already done this before, I'm going to be looking on the screen and I'm going to be watching some of your guys' form instead of doing it myself now that you know what to do, okay? So we're going to start with those squats and ice skaters, okay? So let's get ready. Get in your self space. Remember those squats, you're going to have your feet shoulder width apart, toes facing forward, you're sitting back, chest up, okay? All right, we're going to start in three, two, one, go. Great job. I see Jeremy with his UNX shirt. Make sure you guys, your feet aren't too far apart. Okay, you want them just about at your shoulders. Awesome. I see you guys getting nice and low. You have about three more seconds. You're gonna start your ice skaters. And switch to ice skaters. So, I want this to be nice big jumps. Doesn't need to be too fast. Let me show you again. So nice big jump, jump and touch. Jump and touch. Doesn't need to be too fast, okay? I'm not going crazy. I'm just jump and touch. Big jump, keep those legs moving. All right, in three, two, one, 10 second break. Next, you're doing push ups and high planks. So get up in your push up position. You're gonna start in two, one, 
Go. Let me see those push-ups. Remember, they don't need to be too fast. I want to see them nice and controlled. I see Pierce. He's doing his push-ups, chest to the ground, crushing it. Awesome. You guys are doing great. Good job, Finley. Keep working. Those are great. Nice, slow, and controlled. And switch to that high plank hold. I know it's gonna burn those arms just a little bit, but you're gonna hold that high plank just like you're about to do a push up, but you're gonna hold it. Okay, make sure you're nice and flat. No butts in the air, no hips down low, okay? 10 more seconds. Good job, Brady. Hold that arm straight and rest. Next, you're gonna be doing sit ups. So you can sit on your bottom and get ready for those sit ups. Take a drink of water if you need it. Take your break. And sit-ups, go. Remember, hands can go behind your head or they can go at your chest. You're sitting up all the way until your chest hits your quads, okay? Not too fast, sitting all the way up. Nice job, Jacob. Those are looking great. Good job, Brianna. Working hard all the way through, guys. And then switching to the Russian twists, okay? You're already there. Pick those feet up and you're crossing over to those Russian twists. I know you just used your abs, so Russian twists. Make sure you're twisting side to side now. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, guys, you're gonna be standing up because it's the last part of this workout. You don't have to do this ever again today. So you have jumping jacks and high knees next, so get ready for those jumping jacks, and go. Remember, when we're doing the jumping jacks, I wanna see arms going all the way up. Okay, get those shoulders moving. Okay, I don't wanna see this. This isn't a jumping jack. All the way up. 10 more seconds, awesome. Good job, you guys. And switch to high knees. This is it, this is how hard you wanna push it. Right here, the last part of this workout is high knees. So it's up to you how hard you wanna work. Right here, 10 more seconds, get those knees up. Everett, I see those knees are so high, you're crushing it, dude. All right, good job, Hunter, and two, one, time. All right, guys, we got one minute to rest. I'm sure you guys are needing it right now. Take that drink of water. Sit down if you need to, Get, catch your breath. Breathe in through your nose, out your mouth. I see some people are walking around, that's totally fine. Hunter's leaving us, hopefully he's coming back. <laughs> Take that rest if you guys need it. I'm seeing some awesome equipment in your guys' back of your workout area. I see a punching bag, I see pull-up bar, I see ninja equipment. I see cliffhanger, all kinds of fun stuff some of you guys have. I see some people just laying down resting. Hey, whatever you gotta do, okay? All right, you have just one more four minutes of work and then you're done the first half. And then it's up to you if you wanna continue on to the um, pull up bar section, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with our lunges. We're gonna get ready. So we're gonna be standing up. Remember, you're gonna do front lunges first, and then you're gonna do back lunges the next 25 seconds, okay? All right, ready, set, go. We're gonna be doing those front lunges. Lunge forward, step back to your feet. Lunge forward, step back. Lunge forward. I don't wanna see these little tiny lunges either, okay? Let's take a nice big step, lunge down. Try not to slam your knee on the floor. Get close or just barely touch it, and then come back up. And switch to the back lunges. Good job, you guys. You're lunging backwards and then stepping your feet together. Good job. Fiona, that's awesome. Just make sure you keep your chest up. There you go, that is perfect form. Great job. Bella and Elise, you guys are crushing it. And break. All right, guys, take your rest. You're doing mountain climbers and bicycles next. So you can get right on your knees. 
Shake out your arms, push up position, and mountain climbers go. Okay. Make sure you're moving. Not too, too fast, but give that nice speed. I want to see you guys working. Keep those butts low, okay? We don't want to see you guys piking up. Bring that, drive those knees forward. The last five seconds, drive, 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 drive. And we're going to switch to bicycles. So we're going to be on our back and bicycling. Remember your opposite knee to your opposite elbow. You're crossing over and doing your bicycles. Let me see those bicycles. Extend those legs all the way out. Good job. Awesome, Madeline. Those are looking great. And rest. 10 seconds. We have inchworms and supermans next. So we're going to be standing up. Deep breath. And inching out. Inching all the way out to that high plank. And then inching all the way back. Standing up, inching out, walking those hands out, and then walking those hands back. Try to keep your legs straight when you're doing this. Walking out, walking those legs back. Five more seconds. And we are switching to Supermans. So right on your belly, arms out. Let me see those Supermans. Bring your arms and your legs up, okay? Sometimes when you get tired, you bring your arms in. Try to really extend it. Nice, Skylar. I can see how far out your arms are extended. Good job, Marty. Keep those arms straight out. Nice job, you guys. Nice, Michael. And rest. All right, guys. Last part, okay? You have burpees and squat jumps. And this is the last part of the first part of your workout. Okay, so get ready for those burpees, and go. You're gonna come down, out, in, and jump. Don't forget your push-up if you want to. Push up, and jump. Out, push up, in, jump. Out, in, jump. It's even okay if you mix it up a little bit. All right, five more seconds of burpees. Keep pushing. Then you're gonna move to squat jumps in three, two, one, squat jumps, squat down and jump. This is where your legs are gonna be really feeling it, but it's the last part of your workout, so keep pushing. Keep that chest up, nice big jump. Great, awesome, you guys. Push it all the way to the end. Don't forget to squat all the way down, legs at your shoulder width. Okay, I don't wanna see legs too wide. Three, two, one. Time. All right, you guys. Whew. Is everyone tired? Give me a thumbs up if you're nice and tired from that workout. <laughs> That's good. That means you worked really hard and you pushed yourselves. Sometimes it's up to you guys how hard you're going to push yourself during a workout. And I can tell you to do as much as I want, but it's up to you to do it. Okay? So if you're tired, that means you pushed yourself. I'm even winded, so I push myself maybe a little too hard <laughs> while I'm trying to instruct you guys, but that's okay. I don't mind. All right. So if you want to stay on, you are more than welcome. The next part of our workout is going to include a pull-up bar, and it's going to be a little bit more advanced um, moves. You're welcome to stay and watch. You're welcome to stay and participate or you guys can hop off now, okay? So if you do hop off, I wanna say thank you for joining me for my workout today. Um, I had a really good time, and I hope that I see you guys next time, and you'll have to just wait and see who um, is the coach for Friday. So, all right guys, I'm gonna to explain to you this next part of the workout. I'm gonna pull my camera a little bit closer, Whoops. because we are going to be using the pull-up bar, all right. One thing I do want to say, if you're going to stay on and you're going to join us in this workout, that is great. Um, if you have a pull-up bar like I do, where it's in the door, I want to give you guys two things. Please do not swing on this pull-up bar and don't jump up to it because um, during my workout. Um, because what I don't want to happen is you to jump up and take it down with you. Okay. So some of um, during this workout, you can drop 
and then rest and then and then get back up onto the pull-up bar. If you can't get to your pull-up bar without jumping, make sure you have a stool or something close by that um, makes it so you don't have to jump up to it because I don't want the pull-up bar to come off while you're doing this workout, okay? Um, this workout is very similar. It's gonna be 25 seconds on. The only difference is you're gonna take 10 seconds in between the two different exercises. And then once you do the two exercises, we're gonna give you 30 seconds to the next one. Because it is a little bit of harder moves, um, I wanna give you guys time to rest in order to really put in a lot of effort for the, for the pull-up bar moves and then uh, the rest of the exercises, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to start with dead hangs and shoulder retracts, okay? So we're gonna do 25 seconds of dead hang, 10 second rest, and then 25 seconds of shoulder retractions. Shoulder retracts are where you're going to hang. Maybe I should face, oh, you can hear me, I'll yell. You're going to hang and you're going to just pull up a little bit with your shoulder and then release. Pull up just a little bit and release. You're gonna to try to do that for 25 seconds. Again, if you guys need a break at all from any of these exercises, feel free to drop down from your pull-up bar, shake it out, and try to finish that last little bit of the, um, of the time, okay? So we're gonna do dead hangs, shoulder retracts, negative chin-ups, then lemon squeezes, hanging leg raises, and plank toe touches. I'm gonna to go over all of that with you guys while we're doing it. But we're gonna start with our dead hang. So everybody, let's jump up onto your, well, don't jump, grab onto your pull-up bar. I just said don't jump, Jesse. Grab onto your pull-up bar and we are going to start dead hanging starting now. All right, so we're gonna be dead hanging on our pull-up bar. We're gonna be hanging there. Should've brought my timer. It's fine. All right, 10 more seconds. Make sure you're hanging. Five, three, two, one, and dropping, shaking out those arms. And in five seconds, you're going to jump up. We're gonna grab it, don't jump. You're gonna grab it, and we're gonna do the shoulder retractions for 25 seconds. So you're hanging, shoulder retraction. Doesn't have to be too fast. Take a second and drop if you need to, but try to make your way all the way through the 25 seconds. Five, four, three, push it to the end, and drop. All right, I'm giving you guys 30 seconds now, okay? The next ones we're gonna be doing is negative chin-ups. If you cannot get into a chin-up position without jumping up to your pull-up bar, then make sure you grab a stool because I don't want you to be doing the chin up. I want you to be in the chin up position and releasing as slow as possible. If you could do two negative chin ups in this whole time, I'll be super impressed because that means you're releasing super slow. So in three, two, one, we're gonna get up into our negative chin up and you're gonna be releasing super slow. Chin up means your palms are facing your face and you're releasing nice and slow. All right, you guys have 15 more seconds. Make sure you're not jumping up. You're getting into that chin-up position and you're releasing as slow as possible all the way down. You have five more seconds. Get that one last chin-up, that negative chin-up in if you can. And time. All right, guys, you have 10 seconds and then we're gonna get down on the floor because we're gonna do lemon squeezes. Lemon squeezes. In three, two, one, go. You're um, balancing on your bottom. You're coming out and bringing everything in. These are lemon squeezes. Coming out and in. You have 15 more seconds. Keep working. Make sure you're really engaging your core, bringing your legs straight out. Arms out and bring them in. And time. All right, guys, we have 30 second break. And we're next, we're going to do hanging leg raises and plank toe touches. So, hanging knee raises. You're going to be hanging. You're going to bring your knees up. 
and release them down. I can't let my feet go straight because I'm too tall. Make sure you're not swinging. You're trying to keep as straight as possible. You're going to be bringing your knees up, okay? So we're starting that in five, four, three, two, one. Hanging, bringing those knees up nice and slow. Bring them up as high as you can and releasing. Up and releasing. All right, guys, 10 more seconds of that. Keep pushing, making sure to bring those knees up nice and high. Nice job, Elijah. Good job, Jesse. And time, 10 second break. And next you're doing plank toe touches. So in 10 seconds, you're gonna get into your high plank. You're gonna bring your right hand and you're gonna touch your right foot and try to keep your uh, left foot and keep your balance. So you're gonna cross and you're gonna try to stay nice and flat. And you're gonna be touching the opposite hand, the opposite foot. Try to stay as flat as possible. You can bend your knee to bring it up. We have 30 seconds of that. Keep working, you guys. 10 more seconds. Pushing all the way through, that looks awesome. Three, two, one, time. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you guys a one minute rest because next we're gonna do a whole nother round of some different exercises using the pull-up bar and some floor exercises. We're gonna kind of mesh them together again. So next we're gonna be doing pull-ups and then we're gonna get to have our 10 second break and we're gonna switch over to our single arm hangs. So you're gonna have one hand on the pull-up bar, you're gonna release, shake it out if you need to, and reach back up. If you're in a door frame, you wanna release nice and slow so that we don't slam into the door frame, okay? So, whoops. All right, 15 more seconds of rest, and then you're gonna be doing your pull-ups. All right, pull-ups are where your palms are facing away from your face. We did chin-ups before, so now we're gonna do pull-ups. And just as many pull-ups as you can, in the next 25 seconds. Okay, if you need to drop and break, that's totally okay. All right, I'm gonna reset our timer. In three, two, one, we're gonna do our pull-ups. Making sure you're pulling all the way up until your chin gets up to the bar and releasing. If you can't do pull-ups, that's okay. You can try your best. Make sure your arms are getting nice and straight, pulling all the way up and releasing all the way down. And time, 10 second break. Shake out those arms because you have single arm hangs after this. In three, two, one. All right, grab your pull-up bar. You're gonna hang. You're gonna release nice and slow. Bring your hand down if you can. If you can't, that's okay. You can just let go for a second and then reach back up. Let go for a second. Reach back up, or you can release all the way down. All the way down. And five more seconds. And time, 30 second rest. Next, we're gonna be doing push-ups into Superman's and a low plank. So, this one, this section does not include the bar. So I wanna see, I'm gonna just demonstrate, take your rest. We still got some time. You're going to do a push-up until you get flat on the ground. Then you're going to reach out in Superman, come back, push up. Okay, down, Superman, come back, push up. And then you'll get a 10 second break and you're gonna do low plank. All right, everyone get in your push-up position and go. I wanna see those push up, Superman, come back, Push up your whole body at the same time. Okay, I don't want to see the worm. Push up, come down, Superman. Push up. All right. Five more seconds. Then you get a 10 second break. You're doing a low plank. Awesome. And time. 10 second rest. Shake out those arms. 
and go. You're doing a low plank for 25 seconds. Okay, on your elbows, body straight as possible. No butts in the air. Flat, flat, flat. Holding it. I know your arms might be tired. It's okay if you need to rest. Shake out your arm, you have 10 more seconds. Keep pushing hard. Five, three, and rest. All right, guys, you get a 30 second rest. And this is your last part. We have side lunges that you're gonna do next. So you're gonna be standing. You're going to lunge to your side, keeping this leg straight, sitting back, bending this knee, and then bring your feet together and lunging to the side, okay? So this is still your rest, I'm just showing you. All right, so keep resting, but this you're gonna be doing side lunges next. And then you're gonna be doing side crunches on the pull-up bar. So you're gonna be hanging, you're gonna twist and bring your legs up. And you're gonna twist to the other side, bring your legs up. So your right hip is gonna be facing forward. You're gonna bring your legs all the way up. All right, we're gonna start those side crunches, I mean side lunges. Three, two, one, side lunge. We have 25 seconds of this, 10 second break. Then you're doing those side crunches while you're hanging. And then you guys know what? Then you're done. So keep working, this is the last part of your workout. Keep working, keep lunging. Three, two, one, take your 10 second rest. Get over to that pull-up bar. <sighs> Shake it out. All right, you're hanging. Rotate your hips, crunch up, release nice and slow. Rotate, crunch up, release nice and slow. This is your last part of your workout. You have 10 more seconds, so make sure you push it. Make sure you're not swinging too much. Nice and controlled. Those look awesome. Great job, Emmy. Finish strong, guys. Three, two, one, time. All right, you guys. All right. That was my workout for the day. So what I did is, because we did two rounds, of the first half of the workout. If you guys wanted to keep going, you did work out for 50 minutes. That's totally, that's amazing, you guys crushed it. What I did is I wrote down the um, pull-up bar workout we just did. So if you wanna do a second round of that on your own, you can. So I wrote it, so if you guys wanna take a picture, I hope it's not reversed. Well, it might be in reverse, hmm. Well, if you guys want to take a picture, you can do it. If you can flip the, flip the photo, and if not, I will also put um, the workout on my Instagram. So if you guys want to do a second round of it, you totally can. Okay. Oh, Coach Derek said it's not in reverse. So we're good. So if you want to take a picture of this, you guys are good to go, and you can do a second one. But if you're nice and tired, that's great. That's what I was trying to accomplish. I hope you guys had an awesome workout today. I know I did. I know I'm sweating. Make sure you guys stretch and drink plenty of water so that way you guys can join us for the workout on Friday. And you'll have to see what coach is gonna be coaching with you guys on Friday. I think it's gonna be really fun. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. I had a blast and I'll see you guys next time.